Before we dive in, a serious disclaimer. The tools in this video are powerful. Use them ethically and legally. This is for finding lost loved ones or reconnecting, not for misuse. The journey can be emotional, so approach with care and respect for privacy. If you value deep dive content on how technology can change lives, hit subscribe. Today, I'll show you 10 free OSINT tools to help you search for someone, step by step. We're not just looking for names, we're uncovering stories. Let's get started. First up, Google Advanced Search. This is where every great online investigation begins, and it's a tool that's often underestimated. Most people just type a name and hope for the best, but we're going much deeper than that. We're going to unlock the real power of Google. Start by using quotation marks for exact phrases like John Smith. This tells Google to look for those words together, not scattered across the page. Add more details to your search. Try John Smith Austin Accountant. Instantly, your results become more focused and relevant, cutting through the clutter. Use the site operator to search within a specific website. For example, John Smith site localnews.com finds mentions only on that site, saving you time. Try file type for documents like John Smith accountant file type PDF. This is perfect for finding resumes, reports, or official documents. Exclude unwanted results with a minus sign. For example, John Smith Austin, doctor removes anything related to doctors, keeping your search on track. Search by year range, John Smith, 2005, 2010. This is great for tracking down information from a specific period or verifying timelines. Combine these operators for powerful laser-focused queries. For example, John Smith Austin Accountant, DrSite-LinkedIn.com or Site-Facebook.com. The possibilities are endless. These tricks turn Google into a digital detective's toolkit, giving you the edge in any online search or investigation. Mastering these commands is the foundation of any successful online investigation. It's the difference between finding what you need and getting lost in irrelevant results. It's free, fast, and shockingly effective. Don't just search, strategize. Approach every query with intention and precision. Every detail you add filters out noise and brings you closer to your target. The more specific you are, the better your results. Practice with different combinations to see what works best. Experiment, tweak, and refine your searches until you get the information you need. Google is your first and most important step. It's the launchpad for every digital investigation, no matter how complex. Use it to gather leads, collect clues, and build a foundation before moving on to specialized tools or deeper research. Remember, the right query can save you hours of frustration and wasted effort. It's all about working smarter, not harder. Start here, and you'll be amazed at what you can uncover. With these skills, you're ready to take your search to the next level. Let's move on. Next, Social Searcher scans multiple social networks for keywords, mentions, and hashtags, giving you a powerful way to monitor the digital world in real time. It's like having a digital ear to the ground, picking up on conversations and trends as they happen across the internet. Plug in names, nicknames, or unique phrases like Jane Doe and JD, and instantly get real-time results from platforms like Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and many others. You can even try variations, initials, or inside jokes to widen your search and catch mentions that might otherwise slip through the cracks. Set up alerts to get notified whenever someone mentions your chosen keywords. This way, you don't have to keep searching manually. Social Searcher will let you know the moment something new pops up. This kind of passive monitoring is a real game changer, letting you stay updated without constant effort. You can catch important updates or hidden clues as soon as they appear. Look for indirect clues, like a friend's birthday post, a tagged group photo, or a location mention in a status update. Even small details can reveal a lot about someone's activities or whereabouts. Each clue you find can lead to new people, places, or events to investigate further, helping you build a bigger picture of someone's digital footprint. Brainstorm all possible keywords. Think of names, schools, hobbies, employers, favorite hangouts, or even pets. The more angles you consider, the more likely you are to uncover hidden connections. The more specific and creative your keywords, the better your chances of finding unique or overlooked information. Don't just search for the person, search for their world. Explore their friends, interests, and the digital communities they interact with. Follow the breadcrumbs from one clue to the next, connecting the dots to reveal patterns and relationships you might have missed at first glance. Social Searcher helps you map out these connections quickly, visualizing networks and relationships that would be hard to spot manually. Cast a wide net, 
and you might just catch the crucial clue you need to solve your digital mystery. The more you search, the more you discover. People is a deep web people search engine that builds detailed profiles from names, emails, phone numbers, or usernames. Unlike regular search engines, Pipple dives beneath the surface, pulling information from sources that aren't indexed by Google or Bing. Enter any info you have. Pipple cross-references it to uncover old accounts, usernames, and even associates. It's a powerful tool for tracing someone's digital history, even if you only have a small clue to start with. It's like digital archaeology, digging up forgotten online footprints. You might find traces of social media profiles, forum posts, or even long-abandoned blogs. Find emails, usernames, or phone numbers, then use those as new search terms elsewhere. Each piece of data can open up a new path to follow. Pipple often reveals connections you'd never find on Google. It can link together fragments of information that seem unrelated at first glance. Use it to expand your web of leads, relatives, old addresses, or social profiles. The more you search, the more connections you'll uncover. Each search can unlock a new piece of the puzzle, helping you see the bigger picture of someone's online presence. The free version is powerful enough for most searches, giving you access to a surprising amount of information without a subscription. Cycle through every bit of info you have. Each one could be the key. Don't overlook even the smallest detail. Sometimes, a single username can lead to a wealth of data. Use Pipple to connect the dots and escalate your investigation. As you gather more data, patterns and relationships start to emerge. It's about building a network, not just finding a name. The goal is to map out the digital connections that tell a deeper story. Every new detail is a potential breakthrough. Keep digging, stay curious, and you'll be amazed at what you can uncover. Spokio aggregates public records, addresses, phone numbers, property, court records, and more. Enter a name, phone, address, or email to get a report with address history and contact info. It bridges digital and real-world data, sometimes revealing decades of history. You might find current addresses, phone numbers, or even social profiles you missed. Spokio can also surface court and criminal records. Be prepared for surprises. Use it to verify and expand on leads from other tools. If you find a city or name elsewhere, check Spokio for more details. The free preview often confirms if you're on the right track. Cross-reference everything for accuracy. Spokio is your go-to for real-world verification. Use it to confirm, not just to search. It's a crucial step in your investigation. Family Tree Now is a genealogy tool that maps out family connections using public records. Search for someone and see possible relatives, ages, and address histories. If you can't find your target, look for close relatives, parents, siblings, or children. This is especially useful if someone changed their name after marriage. Click through relatives to build a network of leads. Use new names and locations in other tools for more results. Family Tree Now can reveal connections you'd never expect. It's powerful, but use it ethically. Respect privacy. Focus on finding family to re-establish contact. Combine with other tools for best results. If all you have is a photo, use TNI for reverse image search. Upload or paste the image URL. TNI finds exact matches even if edited or cropped. Discover where a photo appears online, blogs, forums, or forgotten profiles. Each match can reveal new usernames, interests, or communities. Build a timeline by seeing when and where the image was posted. Use every photo you have profile pics, group shots, even pets or tattoos. Each image is a potential lead. Tini can turn a single photo into multiple new clues. Don't overlook visual evidence. Every image tells a story. Use them all. Web My Eye gives you a quick snapshot of someone's online presence with a visibility score. It aggregates profiles and mentions from across the web, saving you time. Use it to find public social media, blogs, and related keywords. Tags and keywords can help you refine your Google searches. If the score is low, focus on public records. If high, follow digital breadcrumbs. WebMy is great for a fast overview or a mid-search check-in. Run names of your target and their relatives for more leads. It's efficient and simple. Use it to get your bearings before diving deeper. PeakU specializes in finding people by username across dozens of platforms. If you found a unique username, plug it in. PQ uncovers profiles on social media, forums, and niche sites. People often reuse usernames, making this a powerful shortcut. PQ categorizes results, social, blogs, news, and more. You might find recent activity on a forum or a hidden blog. Use every username you discover. Each one is a master key. This tool is perfect for connecting digital aliases. Be methodical. List all usernames and search each one. It's especially useful for people hiding behind pseudonyms. Connect the dots to build a complete online identity.
LinkedIn is a goldmine for finding adults. People list their real names, jobs, and locations. Search for your person and look for current employer and city. This info is usually up to date and reliable. Check connections, recommendations, and groups for more clues. Alumni groups or past employers can reveal timelines and locations. Even sparse profiles offer valuable hints, schools, companies, or skills. Use advanced filters to narrow by city, company, or school. Every detail helps build a timeline of their life. LinkedIn is often the most direct way to find someone's current situation. Dissect every profile for hidden clues. Use professional info to guide your next steps. It's a map of their career and often their location. Don't skip it. Facebook search is more powerful than it looks. Use specific phrases like people named John Smith who live in Seattle. Layer criteria, city, school, workplace, or friends' names. Search for relatives or friends to find indirect connections. Look for tagged photos or group activity for more clues. Combine info from other tools, like relatives' names or workplaces, to refine your search. Join public groups and search for your person inside. Be creative and persistent. Try every combination you can think of. Use filters for people, photos, videos, and groups. Each clue fills in more of the puzzle. Facebook is often the final, most fruitful step. Piece together their digital life. You now have 10 powerful tools. Use them wisely and ethically. The goal is reconnection, not intrusion. Respect privacy and approach every search with compassion. This is just the beginning. New tools and techniques emerge all the time. Subscribe for more in-depth guides and share your success stories in the comments. Thank you for watching and trusting me with this topic. Be safe, be smart, and use your knowledge for good.